Welcome to F260, week 23, Isaiah chapter 52 and 53, <clears throat> entitled, The Suffering Servant of God. The highlight verses from Isaiah 53, verse 1. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Explaining this, the arm of the Lord refers to Jesus Christ. Despite his many miracles, most people of his day did not believe him, nor do they today. Applying this, this amazing prophecy written about 700 years before Christ was even born, Isaiah foretold the sufferings of the sin-bearing servant of God the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah not only foretells of Jesus' substitutionary sacrifice for our sins that he bore on the cross, but he also tells us that Jesus' face would be disfigured by the punches of the Roman soldiers, that he would make a blood atonement just as the blood of animals was sprinkled in the Old Covenant uh, covering sins temporarily, his blood would be sprinkled in the new covenant, covering sins permanently. He would be widely rejected. They chose a murderer, Barabbas, to be released instead of him. He would die with thieves. One would die in sin, the other would die to sin. Jesus would be buried in the, to in the tomb of a rich man, Joseph of Arimathea, and that Jesus would save all who believe in him. In chapter 53, verse 10, Isaiah says that it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. The Lord was pleased to crush and grieve and make his servant suffer? What kind of God would do that? The kind of God who loves us so much that he would go to the greatest lengths to spare us from judgment. The God who wants to justify us and remove guilt and sin and death. That is why the Lord was pleased with him. <clears throat> this is this servant son, Jesus, who shared the same desires as his father. The final verses of Isaiah's servant song describe the divine perspective of God's sovereign purpose in his son's suffering. My response, thank you, Father, that for our sakes you spared not your own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall you not with him freely give us all things? that all that we are, all that we have, all that we hope to be is in and through your son, Jesus Christ, in whom we live and move and have our being. Through him and to him and for him, I give you all the praise. In his precious name, I pray. Amen. God bless.